Hey guys, Dracovich here, and today I'm going to be going over the Jar 5 Dominator. The Jar 5 is a marksman rifle that has two stages of firing. We have semi and burst. It also has a flashlight capable of seeing through fog, but not spores. Jet propelled ammunition is capable of medium penetration. And in semi automatic mode, it will fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. You can switch to burst mode by holding R and hitting the right mouse button. And then when you fire, you'll shoot three projectiles at once. The Jar 5 has a 15 round ammo capacity and six spare magazines. And with that, let's get into some of the strengths and weaknesses of the Jar 5 Dominator. First up, I wanted to go over the automatons. The Jar 5 is actually pretty good at killing bots because of the medium armor penetration. Its biggest weakness is probably its firing rate. The Jar 5 has a stagger effect that will knock back enemies. If you time this right, it'll give you time to reload. It's more than capable of taking out most light bots and just a couple of hits to a weak point. Next up, I want to talk about Berserkers. Its weak point is the midsection or the head and it should only take a few shots from the Jar 5. Next up, we have the Strider. Now, I didn't realize this when I started filming but you can actually kill a strider from the bottom with the Jar 5 but at the top plating it'll deflect the bullets after I figured out this little trick it was much easier to deal with striders making the Jar 5 a lot better for robots than I thought it was this weak point will even activate the stagger from the Jar 5 causing the strider to fall backwards and giving you a little more room to reload Next up we have Missile Devastators. Now Missile Devastators, I like shooting them in first person and aiming for the missile launchers. Next up we have Shield Devastators. You're going to want to aim for the head or the midsection. Unfortunately the Jar 5 won't penetrate their shield. Next up we have what I consider the Jar 5's biggest weakness, which would be the gunships. Gunships have medium armor, so when you shoot them you're barely going to do any damage to them. For some reason when you shoot them it shows that your shots are ricocheting but they'll still do damage to them. In this clip it took me about three magazines to kill this gunship and the whole time I was being shot at by rockets. Now while I filmed this by myself, if you were with a group it would probably be a lot easier to take these things out. But it's definitely something to be aware of while you're doing a mission. And I definitely recommend bringing a stratagem that will take out gunships easily if you're going to be using the Jar 5 on an automaton mission. I also found it a lot easier to aim at them in first person than in third person, especially when they're further away. When there's four gunships out instead of two, this becomes almost impossible because of all the recoil from the Jar 5 and being shot at by rockets at the same time. Next up, we have the good old tank. Now the tank's weak point is in the back, and if you fire at the tank, you will be able to kill it. I think it takes just over one magazine to kill a tank. Maybe I missed a shot, I'm not sure. I tried it more than once, and both times I had one bullet left. Next up we have the Hulk. Now while you can run around circles around the Hulk, I highly recommend bringing stun grenades if you plan to shoot them in the solar panel. It takes about four shots, give or take. Next up we have the Factory Strider. Now in my opinion the main weak point would be the two laser turrets underneath the chin. These weak points only take a few shots each with the Jar 5. Once they're destroyed it can't really shoot you except for the laser turret on the top. Just be careful for the Devastators that it releases from the bottom. If you do die you can get on top. However, the Jar 5 can't do any damage to the laser turret and it's very easy to get knocked off by enemies. You're better off using a stratagem to take out the factory strider. I used an air burst in this case to try to clear out all the enemies. If you do manage to make it up top, the Jar 5 does do damage to the exhaust vents on the top. While I'm unable to calculate how much damage these things do, I can only tell you that they actually do do damage. My recommendation, focus on the laser turrets underneath the chin and then throw as many stratagems as you possibly can at this thing. Next up we have the cannon turret. 
Now while the cannon turret doesn't take any damage from the front, from the jar 5, it does have a weak point on the back. However, the cannon turret will turn while you're shooting it, making it kind of difficult to kill it. You can take up the three magazines just to take out one cannon turret. So I would only do this if you're desperate. Against enemy light fabricators, the jar 5 doesn't do any damage, it just reflects off. And strangely enough, you can't take out mortar emplacements with it either. You also can't take anything else out with heavy armor, unfortunately. Next up we have Terminus. The Jar 5 is great against Terminus. Its only weakness is its firing rate and how long it takes for it to reload. I highly recommend taking a Redeemer so that you can deal with some of the smaller bugs when you're out of ammo. Next we have Hive Guards. Not only does it penetrate their face shield, but it also stagger them backwards. Next up we have Brood Commanders. Brood Commanders get knocked back by the Jar 5 and die in a few bullets. Next up is the Shriekers. The Jar 5 will take out a Shrieker in a couple of shots, but it can be hard to hit them sometimes. Here we have Charger. Charger is very similar to a Hulk. If you throw a stun grenade at it, it's a lot easier to get behind it to the weak point. And once you shoot off its thorax, it should die very quickly. If any of its armor is blown off by explosives, it'll be easier to shoot it there. It's much weaker in its legs than in its thorax, but the legs have penetration resistance. Next up is the Bile Titan. The Bile Titan has two weak points underneath its shell. It'll take several shots to take out these weak points with a Jar 5. This can finish off a Bile Titan if it's already weakened, or weaken it for a stratagem. It's not worth risking your life to shoot the weak points, but it can help grab aggro from an ally if you need to. I also tested it against Bug Eggs. As you can expect, it'll one-shot the Bug Eggs, but it doesn't seem to penetrate them. So you're gonna have to use a lot of ammo to destroy these eggs. I also tested on bug nests, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. Here we have shrieker nests. I tested it on some shrieker nests, but the bullets only deflected and it didn't destroy the nest. I also tested the spore spewer, which the jar five could destroy from across the map. I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.